Hello, this is Bill Appleton with Metazoa, and a quick movie about Snapshot 2.0. Snapshot is the ultimate tool for change and release management. First, connect developer projects to your sandboxes and production account. A developer project can either be a freeform folder of metadata assets or in the Salesforce DX file format. The location of the project can be a static local folder or a dynamic repository. You can take snapshots of your sandboxes and other production accounts. Log in with credentials and then decide which assets you want to capture. Manage packages, profiles, permission sets, custom objects, page layouts, Apex classes, Apex pages, and other assets, folder-based assets like dashboards, reports, email templates, and documents. When you've selected what you want, take the snapshot. Now you're ready to clone developer repositories and move metadata assets into the sandbox and onto production. To do this, double-click the deployment arrow. Now you see everything about the source snapshot on the left and the destination snapshot on the right, including a complete deployment history and the setup audit trail. The first thing you'll need to do is select some assets to move. You can click on any metadata type here on the left and see the assets in the middle. Let's move some custom objects. You can select them from this list and add them, or you can select an object and automatically bring in all related objects. At any time, you can slide down the center console and see all of the differences. Now you're ready to move the metadata. You have access to all of your previously used job lists, as well as powerful tools to run Apex tests, apply transformations, and remove bad references on destination objects. To move the metadata, just push the Deploy button. Snapshot uses the data, metadata, and tooling APIs to create incredible reports on your org. Let's take a look at some of them. The Similar Assets report shows assets that are the same or different in your org. The Data Dictionary report shows all of the different properties that your objects have. The Field Usage report shows which fields tend to have distinct values and which fields tend to have uniform values. The Record Level Security report shows you which users have access to which objects by profile, permission set, user role, group, or sharing rule. The User Activity Timeline report lets you select a group of users and a number of custom or standard objects. And then, given a time frame, it graphs for you all of the activities of that user over time. The Profiles and Permission Sets report will show you all of your profiles or all of your permission sets by these characteristics. You can also generate combined security reports. For example, this user had no access to the account object, but one, two, three permission sets later, he had full access. Best of all, everything Snapshot does can be automated. Let's say you want to take a snapshot every night starting tomorrow at 4 a.m. and then after that you want to save the snapshot to a folder for compliance. Thank you very much for watching my brief movie about Snapshot.